Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about automation. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, as a software engineer, what do you believe are things that aren't worthwhile to automate? Well, I would say either something where the task, like where the cost to value ratio of automation is off, in other words, the amount of work that I would have to do in order to automate something is a lot higher than the cost of just doing it manually. Where if that ratio is off, I don't, it's not a good idea. And the second time is when a computational solution is actually worse, or it's like an, it's more error prone and more likely to fail than uh, manuals, uh, the manual process is actually going to be. Uh, let me explain those cases a little bit because to some people it might seem weird that humans can be better at something than a computer. But let's talk about the cost value ratio first. So the cost value ratio basically means that there are certain processes that are so complicated to automate that it simply is more costly for you to try to automate something. So what I like to say is like uh, Google's famous saying is automate all the things or automate everything that you can automate and I absolutely agree with that. Anything that is, is straightforward to automate you should try to automate but in the same breath you have to remember that you have a usually when you're doing automation it is that there is a process somewhere going on and so many developers miss the whole point of this and that is that because they you know so it's like you know if the only tool you have is a hammer every problem is a nail and so many developers what they do is that they take a sort of working manual process that people are happy with usually and trade it in for a really shitty digital solution that never works I am amazed at how many people who work in retail and like, diff like different areas of the world who have shitty company systems that they just hate. Everybody hates them. And that is the exact problem that I'm talking about, where you think that digitalizing something is just, quote-unquote, a good thing. And it's not because it's just an optimization of an existing process. It's the same thing like where I like to feel, remind people that uh, just because you have a modern day solution to something doesn't make it a good solution. We used to make fire with flint and steel and stuff like that in order to get our cooking done. And sure, a stove by today's standards is probably a more effective way of doing that, but you also have to remember that you need an entire world of infrastructure and gas supply or electricity or some other mo method of heating to make that thing work. And sh if you're out in the woods, it's probably going to be very difficult to, for you to find a working stove. So the f in that case, the fire is actually more primitive, yes, but it's also better. It's a better solution to the problem programming should ideally work the same way because there are certain processes where people actually fuck up the process worse because tr trust me guys just because you make something digital or you automate it doesn't make it better necessarily there are situations where that will be true but in some cases and especially if you r write a really shitty solution to the problem you're actually going to spend more time maintaining like the cost of that system is actually higher than the benefit and then you might as, might as well have just kept the manual process. An example of that would be, uh, I had, uh, there was, yeah, it's actually one of the projects that they've been working on right now. It's, I mean, I can't even imagine how that could have been a good idea, but worked with the company a while back now where they had a very shattered, like a fragmented ecosystem of different services that their different um, uh, staff were, were using in order to basically sell products and stuff like that, right? And they wanted to automate more of that process. And I told them that the way, or rather like the, I explained that the way that you should probably do that is to reduce the amount of systems that you need. Because if you have all these different systems, it's actually almost impossible to automate this thing in an effective way. It's very error prone. So, and then of course a company, a very nice other company who for some reason just I don't know, 
they were selling the product that uh, they suggested, uh, suggested that no, you know what, we can use bots to do all this work. And I actually said so, like, that's actually not a very good idea. The reason is because the bots themselves, like all the scripts and all the stuff that you're going to have to do in order to automate, some stuff is going to work, but like the entire flow of things and like hopping between different systems and making sure that things are consistent in a, in a process where there are a lot of errors or inconsistencies and so forth where it's really difficult for you to program, like to automate a solution that figures out if something is correct or not, that's not going to work. They didn't really listen, of course, and they did it. and. This is now basically a shit show for that reason, where you have an automated, an automated process that actually creates more work, because now the humans have to go and fix the thing that the computer did. And it's not the computer's fault, it's just that you're forcing the computer to do something that it's not really good at. And so in that scenario, the cost value ratio is off. In that scenario, it's actually better to just keep the manual process. And then there are, like I told the being able to automate something to 90% is better to, uh, than having to try to do it to 100%. So an example of that was that we had a pro I had a process at, at a company where basically the customers added requests for credit, if I remember correctly. So you do a credit check. And so that process was very manual as well. So we automated all the things and basically the only thing that was remaining was for the human to press a button. And so our, our, our product owner basically asked, can we automate like the pressing of that button so it just kind of happens mag magically? And I said, we shouldn't do that because this is the other thing that I was talking about. Because this is a problem that a human is a lot better at solving than a computer will ever be or rather at least to, uh, with current technology and that is to figure out based on experience if this information here seems to be true because basically when you do a credit check it's actually a very difficult process because you need to connect with different systems from different organizations in different countries and then figure out what the quote number is like the and if it seems like a reasonable amount of cars to like the in this case it was a company uh, that was looking for a, like a vehicle. Uh, is this company actually, you know, does that do? Do they have the credit? Do they have any warnings or like something like that? And do they seem to have the need for this amount so that it's actually correct? Because you I mean, if you approve it, and the company is a small company, and say that they are by mistake put in like a, too many zeros there, holy shit, we're gonna ship them. I don't know how much stuff, right? And that is something that a computer is not good at solving because it's a very very complicated problem with many factors consider it requires basically abstract thinking it requires to by today's standards a human brain or a very sophisticated machine learning algorithm and that the cost of making that is enormous but the cost of having a person take a take five seconds and just check yeah this seems to be correct and just click the button is actually much cheaper it's actually if you there's a very nice there's some very nice videos from you know IBM's uh, or is it no uh, Intel's uh, factories when they make um, CPUs and uh, where you have humans who oversee the automated process where like uh, just on a screen seeing that if it seems sort of right if the machine is producing the right uh, like schematics and actually putting everything together in the, the correct fashion and the reason being that it's actually a something that a human is better at the computer like this uh, the automated process is really good at repeating the thing and like doing it really really fast but if something go goes wrong it's really hard for the computer to figure out that something isn't all that uh, something is incorrect with the entire thing right and so a human can do that uh, at this point better and that's when i tell people these are the two things to consider before you automate something so what I want you to take away from this is that, at least in my opinion, automation is not worth it when the process that you have is actually more effective or has a, like a, 
is usually more consistent than automation because there are some problems that are so difficult to automate that it's really not worth it. Examples of that is if you have a manual process that has a lot of different integrations towards the different systems or so forth, unless you can get data access to different APIs or something like that, it's actually going to be a very error prone problem uh, process to try to automate that thing. You can simplify it and like speed up each step maybe, but automating the end thing, the thing from end to end is actually very very difficult. Just ask anybody who's tried to maintain a large suite of end to end tests about how fun that's going to be and they will tell you that it is a very difficult problem. And so that's one part. The other part is when the human is actually just better at solving the problem. An example would be when you're going to, like you look at like a legal agreement or like an order or something like that and you just want to make sure that people ordered like a, the sort of stuff that you expect that person to order right so that they don't have an incorrect order or something like that if you're going to automate that and validate that nobody's made a mistake that's actually extremely complicated but a human is really really good at that because they know what seems to be reasonable and they sort of learn how to figure out that stuff very very quickly and very efficiently but a coding solution would be very very complicated and I like to say to people guys automation is a very good thing it is the future it is what you should be doing but don't try to f use it as the only solution to a problem in many cases a human pro a human problem can be solved through simpler means than using automation and the best thing is if you can automate up to what I call the sweet spot if you can, try to get to 100% automation. But remember, even if you take a problem that has no automation up to 90% automated, you have made a massive win. And that is what you should look for. You should look for a stable automatic solution, not the shitty one that causes more work. Have a great day.